Did you ask? Yeah. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. How does it feel being your pro debut? Uh, honestly, I was a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, even though it's my pro debut and I've been in a couple of wars, but you know, it's your pro debut, so I, I was really nervous. So, but you know, I pat, I made it, I fought, beat him in the first round, so I'm happy with that. That guy hits like a truck, man, hits it really hard. So, did you encounter any difficulties leading up to this fight? Uh, no. Uh, no, I didn't hear any. Uh, no, no. Was this the way you wanted it to happen? Of course not. I won the first round knockout. What the heck? <laughs> uh, throbbing. Well, I wanted to knock out, finish him on the feet. But, I mean, I got to show some of the wrestling that I've been doing. So that was cool. Uh, he definitely rocked me pretty hard. He hit really hard. So I've been sparring a lot southpaw, but he caught me with some shots that I didn't see coming. So, but, I mean, I wasn't dazed or out of the fight at any means necessary. But it was one of those things, like, I kind of knew that he would stand a chance in the striking. So, and... You know, it's MMA, it's mixed martial arts. So and I've learned that lesson. So you got to learn everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I've been doing wrestling with uh, El Pedio. He's an awesome wrestling coach. Uh, my One of my best friends, Justin Simmons, he's helped me out tremendously. I've uh, been going with Forge Jiu Jitsu. All the way in the Cape, working with them, BTT, Lozon MMA. I've I've been working all over just to get the holes that I need to fix. I need to fix, you know. Uh, I'm gonna face tougher and tougher opponents. You know, I gotta get better. Thank you. Yeah, I got to show like my wrestling skills. How, how, how many times have I gone to takedown like ever? <laughs> so, you know, that was cool. And I got to show some of my uh, grappling, you know, I have really good top pressure. So I, I'm going to just keep working on that. Um, <clears throat> I know the November card is right around the corner. Uh, I'm in school right now, so I... I'm going to have to skip that one, but on to the next one, whatever that is, February. Whatever card that is, I'll be on it. How do you balance being a fighter and being a student? Uh, it's, it's hard, you know. I, I mean, I work full time, and, and i uh just going for my CSL. So, uh, contract supervis supervisor's license. So, like, I'm just trying to get all my priorities straight. I know MMA is kind of – I want to do it for the rest of my life, obviously. But, like, I got to be realistic and have some, you know, stuff in my back pocket as well. All right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. They push me every day, man. Like, every day. Uh, I would train – my main training partner is Jack Condon. And, you know, he's undefeated, never lost. So, keeping up with someone like that, you know, it's <clears> – <throat> mentality-wise – I know that I gotta stay strong and keep pushing him just as much as he pushes me. So uh the gloves are smaller, so my range is a little different and they hit harder. But I mean I make it's not a huge difference because it was six ounces to four ounces, but you could definitely tell a difference. Thank you. Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to my corners, Joe Lozon, Mike, and uh, Sensei John Miranda. Without them, you know, I I wouldn't be able to do what I'm, you know, doing and competing and stuff. So really appreciate them. Uh, Chad Feria, uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Justin Simmons, uh, Jack Condon, Ford Jiu Jitsu, El Pedio. So those are the guys. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you.